One of the really nice things about macOS is that Ruby is already built in. Being one of my favorite dynamic languages, it's just nice that right out of the box, it's ready for me to use. So today I want to show you how you can set up um, your Ruby gems to install into your users directory instead of globally. I prefer to do this because I don't want to clutter up the pre-installed um, gems. And plus, you would have to use sudo to install it. And just installing it on your user account, you can just do it without using sudo. Okay, so to do this, you run the command, of course, uh, gem install, and let's install Sinatra. So now if we would execute this, it will go to the global um, installation location for gems. But since we want to put it in our users directory, dash dash user install, and then to speed things up, we're not going to generate any documentation. So we're just going to do dash dash no document. Right, so it's done. Now if we do a list, and we take a look, we can see that a dot gem directory has been created and that holds our locally installed gems for, you know, for our user. All right, so now you don't, probably don't wanna type in dash dash user dash install every single time you wanna install a new gem into your uh, user's directory. So, to get around that, we can actually create a .gemrc file with those options um, set as default. So when you type in gem install Sinatra, it will automatically set user install for you. Okay, so to do that, we will take a look at the gemrc file I have set up here. And it's very simple, you just type in gem colon, and then you add the options that you want. In this case, mine has dash dash user dash install, and then also the no document. Okay, and then just go ahead and save that. So now if we go ahead and remove the dot gem directory, and now we reinstall Sinatra using just gem install Sinatra, it will go and install it into my user directory because in the gemrc file, I set it to default to those options. And as we can see, we have the .gem file right here. All right, that's it for today. I hope this tip was useful. Thanks for watching.